Hey everyone, Tim Clapham from Hello Lux and a quick tip working with attribute managers. As you can see in the attribute manager, we have a mode menu and if we click here, you can see that the attribute manager supports lots of different modes. For instance, we can choose to view our camera. I don't have any cameras in the scene here, so this is giving me the information for the editor camera. We can choose to look at our render settings. All pretty handy stuff. Now one of the other things that you can do which is really useful is you can actually control which attribute managers view which modes because if we click on this button here we can open up more than one attribute manager. So what that means is we can have several attribute managers within our layout and we can use those to determine what is viewed in each specific manager. As a simple example, I'm going to show you how to set up one manager to use for all your object parameters, etc., and another manager that is used solely for tools. So on this attribute manager that I have floating here, click on the mode menu, come down to configure modes. And here you can see all the modes that the attribute manager su supports. And all you need to do is uncheck all the modes that you wouldn't want to see in this specific manager. So I'm going to uncheck everything except tools and click OK. Now if I had a cube and unlock this manager, select the cube, you can see that this doesn't actually update. It only shows in this attribute manager down here. Now if I select my move tool, you can see that the move tool shows up in here because this is a tool. It also shows up in this manager as well. So let's open up the configure modes dialog for this other attribute manager. And let's just uncheck tool click OK. So now this attribute manager won't show any tool information and this one will only show tools. Let's just delete this cube for a moment. The next thing we can do is let's just undock structure manager and let's put my object manager in the side here for a moment. I can now dock my new attribute manager at the bottom here. Let's just drag this down. And now if I add a cube, my cube settings are up here. My tool settings are down here. Let's make this editable. And let's come and choose the magnet tool. And you can see that the attributes for the magnet tool appear down here. So basically what we've done is we've created a tool manager and we've created a standard attribute manager. And you can create several of these. You can even right click and rename. Whoops. tools okay and now this attribute manager is called tools and we can only ever show our tools in this manager so although fairly simple very useful as well and if we just take a quick look at my standard layout it's actually split over two monitors but on my main monitor here you can see that I have exactly that setup here's my main attribute manager and I have a, another attribute manager down here for all my tools then I have my object manager here with the layer browser and the coordinate manager and then editor view materials down here and my timeline and espresso is all on a different monitor so i hope you enjoyed that quick tip and that gives you some ideas of um, the options available to you when you're designing your own layouts um, don't forget to pop back to hello lux regularly for more tips and tricks from me tim clapham thanks very much